What's up guys, Quentin Tarantino made the complete dickhead of Bruce Lee in his movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And in this video I want to verify that. He is totally wrong about Bruce Lee's presentation. We are gonna look at some short fragments of the movie. It's combat. Two men trying to kill each other right now. If you don't beat him, he kills you. First of all, the guy doesn't look like Bruce Lee at all. He moves very slow, he can't kick and he has to act like a buffoon. Why is Tarantino making a fool of Bruce Lee? Look at some fragments of the conversation. He talks shit and says he could beat Cassius Clay. By the way, Cassius Clay is Mohammed Ali's name at birth. Lee has never made any assumption in beating a boxer, so it's a lie. I kill people. Well, if you fought Cassius Clay, who would win? Well, that would never happen. But if you did, what do you think would happen? I'd make him a cripple. Brad Pitt is in my opinion a great actor and he plays his role very good. He is the stuntman named Cliff who starts laughing with this Bruce Lee guy and they agree on a friendly fight where the guy who falls two times of three loses the fight. Now it is the moment where it goes even more wrong. He asks this Bruce Lee to make his best move. In his role as Kato in the Green Hornet, Lee was known for his sidekick. So Tarantino decided that this is his best move and this Bruce Lee guy uses a jumping sidekick. Bruce would never begin his fight in this manner. You can see him coming from far away and the opponent has so much time to step aside. Why did Tarantino choose this move? To make Bruce Lee look even more like a dickhead. You're a little man with a big mouth and a big chip. And I think you should be embarrassed to suggest you be anything more. Bruce Lee would only use this jumping sidekick if the guy had already been beaten and if he was not fresh anymore. Like we see in Enter the Dragon, Ohara was already dizzy and he couldn't escape the kick. There isn't any fight in all his movies where Bruce Lee starts off with this particular move. But it becomes even more stupid if Cliff, played by Brad Pitt, asks him to do this move again. And this Bruce Lee guy is now using the same move again. That would be the most idiot thing to do. Like, okay, he knows what is coming and I will try it again. What a bad choice of Tarantino. I wonder why Tarantino is trying to make Bruce Lee looking like a jerk. In a podcast with Drew Rogan, Tarantino is mocking Bruce Lee and he claims that Bruce was disrespectful to stuntmen and that he touched them during the fight scenes. The stuntman, so to speak, hated Bruce Lee, according to Tarantino. Who believes this? Stuntmen are the guys who always do the rough jobs in movies. They jump up and off cars and motorcycles, they do the most unrealistic falls of buildings, they jump through windows and run through fire, but according to Tarantino, they don't want to be tapped by Bruce Lee in a fight. That is an integral lie. It is well known by all martial artists that in Asian countries fight scenes happen with a tapping of the opponents to make it look more realistic. Because if you hit the guy very slightly it is easier for him to react on the right moment. Robert Bob Wall has spoken about this in many interviews. Bruce Lee asked him if he might touch him and Robert Wall always agreed on that. It is essential to do this for better action scenes. Bruce Lee wanted to present the fight scenes in an authentic manner and that could only happen if the actors and stuntmen acted so. The only reason why some stuntmen hated Bruce Lee was because he was a Chinese guy and he was just so much better than they were. You just have these guys who are jealous and then they make up these false stories. Jim Kelly only praises Bruce Lee. He talked always with a huge respect for Bruce. To him Bruce was the best martial artist ever. Bob Wall said the same. Let me know what you guys think about this. 